Hello everyone, welcome back to Fury Time channel. Former rival of Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury confirms he is a target at return date. Dillian White is hoping to remain busy in the second half of 2024, as he plots his return to the business end of the division and heavyweight. White returned to action earlier this year, when he defeated Christian Hammer in Ireland. The former world title challenger is still hoping to secure big fights, but he can only do that if he keeps on winning. White was set to face Anthony Joshua last year, but that contest was called off close to the last minute due to an issue with uh, White's pre-fight doping tests. The Brickstone man has mentioned it September as a possible return date. I'm trying and I'm staying busy, just waiting on some news now. Regarding the next fight, said Dillian White. I'm trying to fight another two, three times this year, so yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm hoping to fight in September. Frank Warren disagrees with Simon Jordan's claim Tyson Fury must get redemption against Undisputed Champ now. Frank Warren insists Tyson Fury does not need to redeem himself against Undisputed Champ now. Fury lost in a devastating fashion to a fellow undisputed champ in May, which saw him miss out of the chance to become undisputed king. In an Aziz man of the Gypsy Kings December 21st rematch with the undisputed champ, Simon Jordan suggests that the Briton must take the fight to gain redemption and back up his previous fighting talk. But the former WBC champion's promoter Warren has argued he is taking the sequel simply because the first fight was very close. I don't get the redeeming himself. There was nothing in the fight, Warren said. Only one judge gave it to Tyson, another judge gave it to Undisputed Champ and the one gave it by three. Where happens, is it a close fight, now redemption is needed, if you need redemption, it's a uh, none of my business, that's if you are lost the fight by a wide margin or got a knock park out, he was in trouble in the ninth, but overcame that. He wants to have the rematch for a reason as he feels he can win it. It was a great fight between two world-class heavyweights. The scorecards were close at the final bell, with Fury only judged to have lost on two judges' cards. But prior to the closing stages, Fury had suffered a knockdown and was forced to use his incredible powers of recovery with the undisputed champ so close to a stoppage. Fury knows that he faces an uphill battle to get revenge, which rival Anthony Joshua failed to do in his second meeting with Undisputed Champ in 2023. Also, Tyson surprisingly claimed he had an easy night against his upcoming rematch opponent, scoring himself as the winner, he said. He was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. People said he is a hard man to hit. I was lining him up with four punch combinations and lining at him. It was like I wasn't there with a local amateur boxer. I was enjoying it too much, messing around and paid the ultimate prize in round 9. I've got to get him out of there because I'm not gonna get a decision. It's unfortunate because it's hard enough to win a fight just by winning it. Never mind, you know, win, you've got to knock someone out. But I'm confident and looking forward to the challenge, Tyson said. Maybe it's taking its toll, Dillian White gives a tough prediction for ex rival Tyson Fury's rematch. Dillian White has guessed that Tyson Fury's past exploits may have finally caught up with him. The Gypsy King has suffered his first career defeat in their undisputed showdown in May and was even nearly stopped in the ninth round. He will get an immediate shot at the redemption in their sequel on December 21st but it is expected to be an uphill battle for the Briton. Dillian White, who came up short in a domestic clash with Fury in April 2022, believes the Briton has a chance, but only if he has not lost a yard from previous fights. It's heavyweight boxing, so anything is possible and you can't write Fury off, he told. But maybe this hard fight he's had have taken a toll on him, you never know. He is a human and he has a lot of hard fights, a lot of knockdowns and maybe it's taking a toll on him and maybe he is not even bothered or motivated anymore. 
If he trains right, his big soul stands a chance. But under Spirit Champ's self confidence will be through off the roof. And before he thought he could outbox him, but now he knows he can hurt him, so it will be a much more difficult task for Fury this time around. Fury has been involved in some brutal fight, including three outings against notorious power punchers Deontay Wilder. In his last fight before his defeat, Tyson Fury had looked a showdown of himself and was knocked down by ex-UFC star Francis Ngannou. But he performed much better on the wall and was confident he would done enough to have his hand raised. The 35-year-old even claimed he found it an easy night and had himself ahead of his own scorecard. Tyson said on his social media, I watched the fight back lots of times and still got the same answer. I told I won the fight. Undisputed champ now knows he didn't beat me. I told I boxed the head right off him for most of the rounds. He landed good punch in round 8 and boosted my nose and round 9 he had a 10-8 round and I gave him round 10. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be this fight. People say he is hard man to hit. I was lining him up for 4-5 punch combinations. It was like I was in there with a local amateur boxer. I was enjoy this fight too much. Tyson Fury's brother explains why father John Fury gave Ron and Dwight an undisputed fight. He told, my take is deep light rally, my honest opinion is my dad wants what's the best for his son and the best for his son after he has been put down and nearly out, called is to get him through the fight. No, you can be KO'd and not wake up, that's his mentality, cause he wants the best for his sons. But sometimes when you want the best for someone, it's maybe not the best instructions. Them instructions is sometimes not what you need. Former heavyweight champion Brand Tyson Fury, daily YouTube for saying he won undisputed fight easy. And the Joshua has continued his uh, big game with heavyweight dribble Tyson Fury. Fury is in camp for a rematch. On December 21st in Saudi Arabia, having lost out on the chance to become the undisputed champion when they fought for the first time back in May. In a video shared by Ring magazine, Joshua can be seen sitting with Saudi's Turki al Sheikh while on a video call with Tyson that soon turned into an exchange of gentle insults. Fury says he will fight AJ once he is dealt with the undisputed champ again, to which Joshua replied, You've not dealt with him once yet and uh, at least I'm not delusional for thinking he beats undisputed champ now. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.